Go for what? Op 4 has located a bomb. Be ready oh, for hostile oh, 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 action. Oh, Peeking this map? <laughs> what? What is going on, guys? Narcoleptic Nugget here, and we are back with a video that you have all been waiting for, and that is another spawn peeking video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the new map from the Dust Line DLC, Border. And just to let you guys know that I did start using my Twitter again, so for those of you who follow me would already know that I'm making this video for Border because I announced it yesterday. And if you watch a lot of my content, you may want to consider subscribing to my Twitter um, because not only do I announce stuff early, I'll, I'll also be running questionnaires and polls as to what you guys want to see in upcoming videos. So if you watch my content, may as well have your say in what I'm making and uh, head over there and follow me. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so for this map, you guys are going to need to know the three attack spawns. We have the east vehicle entrance, the valley spawn in the south, and the west vehicle exit. As per usual, I always give you guys my defender of choice to use for each map, and for border, I choose Pulse. So I chose Pulse for a few reasons. The first being that the border map is actually really small. You guys will find this out in the video, but um, peeking on this map doesn't require an ACOG, uh, like I usually prefer on other maps. So using his Ump 45 is totally fine to peek with, or you can use his handgun if you like, if you prefer a shotgun, because his shotgun is a beast. And that's the other reason why I choose Pulse, is because his special ability on this map where almost everything is destroyable, the walls, the floor, um, makes him a really, really strong defender on this map. So for those two reasons, I choose Pulse as my defender of choice for spawn peeking on uh, this map. Side note, I'm going to be using Jaeger in this video, just because it's easier to show you guys exactly where to aim with his ACOG scope. Alright guys, so we're going to start things off with the east vehicle entrance on the east side of the map. So my preference for peeking this one, um, you guys might have already seen a clip of me doing it, but uh, it's this window right here uh, beside, I don't even know the names of these places, but beside that area with the skylight and the pop machine, uh, all you want to do here is just break out the window and uh, aim right here because uh, people are going to spawn way up on the other side of, of this blue thing here. And they're going to either come this way or come on that side, but we'll get to that one next. So what you want to do is you just want to aim right here and you'll see them come around the corner. Anyone comes this way, uh, you'll be able to get them. Alright, so like I said, anyone who spawns at the east vehicle entrance really has two options. They can either come this way toward the stairwell where you can get them, or they can go around the back side here. So you really want to pick one as to which one you're going to peek. So if we pretend that we never open this window, right, and you want to peek this, this side instead, all you want to do is you want to make a hole right here. Close to the wall, I mean, I know people could shoot through that window and kill you, but if you make it over here, there's a... Here, let me just show you. There's this box there. It kind of gets in the way. As well, it's like they can see you. If they come around that corner, they might see this side. So what you want to do is you want to kind of break it out on this right side here. I guess right here. And uh, just wait with them, or wait for them with your cursor right here around the gate. And they'll come around there and you'll get some. So it's either this side or that side. I have one more peek for this spawn, and let me show you guys. So the last peak for this spawn is right here. It's kind of in this office area on the east side of the building, upper floor. Um, there's a skylight that looks like this. I really don't know how to describe these. Oh, there's names right here. Okay. This place is called The Offices, apparently. 2F. Um, so yeah, uh, what you want to do is just break out this window. And as you can see, this is... So the spawn is over there. Uh, the stairwell that we peaked is right there. You can kind of get them from here. But um, yeah, so anyone coming to this side... You can actually shoot them through this tree right there. Um, here, let me show you guys. So, um, they'll come on either this side of the truck. Maybe you can see it better over here. Not really. Uh, they'll either come right here or on the back side of the truck there or even over there. Uh, but what you want to do is you just want to wait with, don't break the whole window down, make a hole and wait with your cursor right there and you should be able to see them between the trees and they really, really can't see you. So this is actually a really good peek. Um, yeah, you can get them right there or right there. So let's go to the next spawn point. Alright, so the next spawn we're going to peek is the valley spawn on the south side of the map. And so I'm just going to run out here just to show you guys uh, what it looks like. So people are either going to, they spawn over there and they're either going to come through here where I find a lot of people come through. Uh, they can go through there to kind of go toward that stairwell that we, we peeked earlier. Or they can come all the way over here. 
and come out that door and go along the side of the building or even in front here but we'll, we'll talk about that one later so um, the main entrance that I usually peek is is this opening right here and what you're gonna do for this one is uh, you can't really peek these because even if you break them from the inside uh, you're kinda far away like you peek them from uh, way over here and you, you don't really have good vision and they're very obvious like don't peek those Right, my preference at least go ahead do what you want <laughs> um, but yeah so one option that you have is if you um, get used to timing it properly so they spawn and you want to wait about I don't know eight seconds uh, you can pull down this barricade run out here and try to shoot them uh, really quickly before you get detected and hang out here um, this is a good one if you're good at it like it caught it catches them right off guard and you can get an easy kill um, but it's also very risky because anyone coming this way can see you uh, anyone who kind of uh, is already up here will kill you so yeah that's one option you can run out here. If you don't feel like running out there and possibly getting killed, uh, you can go this way toward the, what's it called? Break room. Alright, you can go to the break room here. Uh, go to the door facing the south side. I like to crouch and break it at this level cause, just because it's a little bit harder to see for them. And aim with your cursor right here. You'll be able to catch them as they're coming around that wall. Um, you can stand up and break it if you like. I just find like it's a little bit easier for them to see you when you do that but it does give you better vision as well um, if you don't want to risk doing that because you've done it you can break a hole kind of on the side here uh, back up beside the pop machine and try to catch them when they're on that side of the I don't even know what that is generator but as you can see when you do this um, the glare is just horror bad like I don't know why but you can't see anything uh, but you'll see them when they pop up so just keep that in mind the glare is really bad uh, let me show you how to peek this side from the first floor. So we are back in the skylight room, or I guess it's called the waiting room. Um, so what you want to do is just go into this room right here, and you can peek the valley spawn from the downstairs as well. I'm just going to pull down the door so that you guys can see better. Um, so if you want to peek that upper floor, you can from here. It's just not quite as effective because they do have to run on this side of the generator uh, for you to be able to see them. However, it's unlikely that they'll look down here, so you're a lot safer in that sense. But yeah it's there's some drawbacks but yeah anyways so like I mentioned earlier there's three exits that they can take from the uh, valley spawn and that is up there or over here or down there by that tank um, so did I just call it a tank let me guess it's probably not a tank and people are gonna just murder me in the comments for that but yeah um, I'm gonna call it a tank right now so that tank over there anyways so if they go up there you can peek it from here if they go here you can actually peek that from here as well so imagine the door is closed punch the middle punch the right side stand over here and you can catch them as they're coming around the corner this is also a peek for I guess the um, the what is it called the east vehicle entrance if they come down that stairwell you can also get them right here uh, and wait for them so yeah there's this side um, and then as well this side if you pull down the you might actually want to pull down the door I don't really know um, yeah, let's try it without pulling down the door you should be able to peek the other side as well from here um, there yeah so you can lean and you can get a view of anyone coming on this side of the tank so um, again if they go on that far side you're kinda out of luck uh, but yeah uh, one thing you can do also as I like to do is after the round has started for a little bit um, I like to run out here actually and just uh, peek out this way I don't know they just don't expect it a lot but that's just preference alright so we have one more spawn uh, peek for this side let me show you guys alright so if you go I went through the metal detector that thing is annoying anyways so if you go through the customs inspection room and uh, you go over to this wall in the southwest corner of the building what I like to do is I like to break a hole in this wall right here um, and I don't know why the glare is so bad. Why? 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 I'm trying to show you guys where this is. So, all right. So this is the tank. I hope it's a tank. Anyways, so this is that. Um, there it is. See, you kind of have to find the right spot, or else the glare just is really bad. I don't know why. But anyways, find the right spot, and you can wait for them to come around this tank. They will not be expecting you. Um, and if they are, like MLG God, seriously. Um, but yeah. So wait right here and they'll come around the tank and easy kill there you go you just have to watch out that people spawn on the what is it called the west vehicle exit as well which is on this side so you have to be careful of that they might come around this wall here and see you um so 
yeah, don't hang out here too long, but if you wait here, and if no one comes within the first 10 seconds, and just leave, I say, but, uh, yeah, it should be an easy kill. So let's go on to the next spawn. So I'm here on the west side of the map, and we are going to go check out the west vehicle exit spawn on the west side of the border map. Um, so people spawn, let me just show you guys, right by this white truck right there. They can go up this stairwell. Uh, most people come right through here. They can go on the left over there. Um, but let me show you guys the normal peaks that I use on this map for the spawn. And the main one actually is right here uh, with this door. The main door leading out to the west side of the building. Uh, what I like to do is I would like to just uh, punch the bottom right corner of it. Why? Why? Okay. And wait with my cursor right here by the truck. And people will come around and not really see you right away. So yeah, easy kill. Um, you could also, if you want a little bit more protection, uh, kind of sit in this doorway. Um, it's a little bit more protection, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, that was bad advice, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's one possibility that you can use. The other one is you could use our old, uh, our spawn peak for the south uh, spawn. This one again, you could use that for this spawn as well. Um, but yeah, so what you want to do for this other one is head over here, punch out the right side of this window, and uh, you can get people, actually, that is wrong. I, I gave you guys bad advice there. What you want to do is punch the left side of the window actually and hover right here and people who go around the gate on the back side there you'll be able to see them easily and get a headshot um, but yeah don't punch the right side because then people coming this way will see you punch the left side and then yeah shoot from there all right guys so one more spawn peek for this side is this window over here where you want to punch the right side now this one's kind of tough just because of the glare during the day at night this is a whole different story but i'm showing you guys all the stuff during the day so you want to find that sweet spot um you have to lean and uh yeah break the right side of the window and you can wait with your cursor right by this car and if anyone comes through here you'll be able to get them they spawn again over there and some people might come this side so just be wary of that they'll either come through this gate over here or they might actually come around this wall even closer and uh so they're either gonna come over there where we were peeking or they might actually come around this wall so just be ready for that and uh yeah my bad guys i almost forgot one really important peek for the west vehicle exit and that's this window over here in the security room what you want to do is punch to the left side and uh, move to the left, lean to the right. From here you can see that you can see the stairwell that they have the option to go up. So you have to be careful for that. But you can also see uh, pretty much where everyone goes or the main route that everyone takes from this spawn is between that truck and that cement wall. So right here, here or here is where you want to aim your cursor. You can even aim it to the right over there but actually that's really hard to see, never mind. Um, it's mostly right here or you can wait for them at the top of the stairwell. So. Uh, yeah, just letting you guys know about this one. Just be careful, people coming up the stairwell probably are ready to shoot you. That's the only reason why they'd go up there. So yeah, either peek that or peek right there. So one more tip I'll give you guys for this map, and this is not really a spawn peek per se, um, but not nonetheless, it is still a very helpful peek. So what you want to do is you want to come up here into the armory lockers, and uh, let me just show you guys here where we are here. So if we're facing the west right there, so that is the west uh, vehicle entrance spawn over there, or whatever it's called, um, and this is just the upper floor. So one thing that's kind of a peak um, is you want to come over here, lay down, break this bottom right corner, and just wait for people to repel up here. Um, this works when the objective is on the second floor, otherwise it's probably not going to work. No one's going to visit you up here. But anyways, yeah, if you have the objective up here, wait right here and... Uh, Chances are someone's going to rappel up here or even walk down from there. So yeah, this is a good place to peek from, I find, uh, because they don't really look there. But uh, yeah, just letting you guys know. Before I go, let me leave you guys with my peeking tips. 1. Don't abuse a peek. If you peek every round, the enemy will be expecting you and you're an easy kill. 2. Don't get greedy. You're better off killing one and retreating, making it a 5v4, than killing one and dying, making it a 4v4. Doesn't really help your team. And 3. If your primary weapon isn't very good for long range, use your handgun. You're not trying to have shootouts here, you're going for headshots. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button down below. And if you would like to see more videos just like this one, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and good luck sieging.